Alrighty, um, this is going to be an interesting video. I'm probably going to royally piss off um, a lot of my viewers. I'm probably going to drive a wedge between me and some people. But uh, I've actually been sitting on this message for a couple days now. And I've been kind of talking myself out of making the message. And then the more I talked to more Canadians and... The more I watch the news and how people are handling this, the more I, like, I just can't hold it in anymore. Um, I, I want to get this message out and I just want to before I get this message out, I want to I want to say something. This might sound like I'm. Attacking a certain group of people and it's not meant to sound like that. I want to say something very specific uh, right now. I understand your frustration. I understand your boredom. I understand you being so mad that you can't go on a vacation that you had planned, that you can't go to a theme park um, in April or beginning of May. Trust me, I understand. I'm royally, royally bored. Um, I'm trying everything for any of our fans or any of our followers. We have our Discord. We're in there almost like 14 hours a day now playing video games together, just trying to occupy anyone. Our DMs are open on Instagram for anyone that needs to vent or talk. I've had people literally attack me for spreading the message that theme parks aren't going to open. And then, you know, and I don't attack them back. I listen to them. I try to understand everyone's side of the story. And then it ends up being a really great conversation. That's how things should be handled right now. Um, things are just tough. It's, it's going to be boring. Unfortunately, I didn't create this virus. Your government didn't create this virus. This is just a way of life. When things go wrong, you work together as humanity to fix it. And that is what's needed right now. And unfortunately, it looks like there are some places and some people, again, I'll use the word some, in America that are choosing to blatantly ignore the CDC and local businesses and their neighbors' requests to help end this sooner. In Canada, we have locked down everything. We're very bored here. In fact, my main job, I've lost about 80% of my income from that. Pretty much temporarily laid off um, and resorting to just uh, YouTube income and a little bit of Uber income. So I get it. I Trust me, I understand this. And I also understand that, you know, life is going to be boring for the next two to three months. And there's not much to do. But... You need to social distance yourself. It's extremely important. America is showing signs of a huge spike, and that spike is going to continue to grow unless you guys do what other people around the world are doing. China didn't get its curve from going to the beach. China didn't get its curve from going to Disney World. China didn't get its curve from going to parties. China got its curve from locking down for a month plus. Not leaving unless you needed groceries. Staying in your house. Cleaning. And putting the proper attention to this matter that it deserves. There is a generation in America that is blatantly ignoring this and that they think they're immune to the possibility of the... I'm trying to figure out how to word this without saying the word. <laughs> but they think they're immune to what's going on in the world right now, and they're going to places like a small theme park in Florida. And this video is definitely inspired by this small theme park in Florida, and it shouldn't be open. No business that attracts over, I, I'm going to use, I'll even be a little more easy and say 30 plus, 40 plus, 50 plus people, you should not be open. You are a part of the problem. You are giving people who are extremely bored, who want something to do, that kind of desire. It's almost like Eve and the apple. You're giving them that desire to go do something because they're so bored. Shut your bloody gates and smarten up. Social distancing is needed. And your numbers are going to continue to climb. Unless you follow 
the example of other countries. Canada is handling this extremely well, and I am biased. I'm Canadian. I get that. But both sides of the political spectrum in Canada are handling this really well. The Conservatives and the Liberals, our Prime Minister and our Ontario Premier, a Conservative and a Liberal on different ends of the spectrum who disagree on everything, are both coming together and handling this extremely well. I couldn't be more proud of both. Trust me, and I don't like either one of them. But I couldn't be more proud of both. I feel safe. I trust them. Everything is going well. We've locked down our restaurants, bars, theme parks. Everything is locked down. Casinos, schools. Long before other countries like the UK even. The UK just announced today that they're locking down restaurants and bars. They have way more cases than we do. Unfortunately, you make sacrifices. And you get positivity out of it. Canada is doing well. And I honestly, I wouldn't even be shocked if Canada's Wonderland is the first major theme park in North America to open up. I wouldn't be shocked. I'm honestly, I'm going to make a separate video in a week. I'm giving time to hear through my personal grapevine of sources what's going on, but I have a feeling Canada's Wonderland is going to be the first major theme park in North America to open up, and it's because of how this country is handling it and coming together. And our border will probably remain closed until America can get its act together because boy you guys have a lot to learn and honestly this isn't directed at all of America because I understand that probably 90% of you guys in America are handling this the right way you're keeping your social distance I've seen people in the roller coaster community even going out for walks exploring their their cities by hiking and stuff like that and that's inspirational that's awesome you should all be doing that like I know that Craig and I we went and picked up trash we want hiking. We flew the drone for nature. We're filming some nature videos. You make changes. Yeah, it sucks. Only like 400 people viewed that video we made um, about nature. But it's just something we're going to do for the next like two to three months. Well, this all happens. It's it's a compromise that we have to make. OK, everyone's going through it. We're all in this together. Um, and if you need any advice, please. Or if you even want to vent to me, I might my DMs on Amusement Insiders on Instagram are open. If you really want to yell at me and take your anger on me, I'll be there to listen and I'll I'll present what I know as facts and we'll have a discussion. And if you still disagree with me or you don't like what I have to say, that's totally OK. I'm not going to block you unless you use unless you're attacking me in like a verbal, verbal way. But feel free to message me and express your frustration or if you need help, um, reach out. If you're emailing me, I may not have access to like uh, we've been receiving a lot of emails due to the Olympics um, that we're holding the coaster community Olympics. So I might have gotten lost or it might be in junk mail. My junk mail is just a no go zone. Now it's been like hacked or something. It just gets like, I think like 3000 emails a day, but message us on amusement insiders on Instagram, anything anyone sends me, especially if it's extremely important, I will not share with anyone else. Um, I want to be there for everyone. Um, that I can, um, I'll give you resources. If you need resources, like numbers to call or anything, um, but yeah, it, everything's going to be okay. This isn't permanent. It's not permanent. Everything will go back to normal. Theme parks will open again. But in order for that to happen, you have to do your part. And right now, there are people not doing their part. And we need to smarten up and we need to work together. And we need to start calling out some of these people that aren't doing their part. Do it in their DMs. You don't need to do it publicly message someone that you think isn't doing their part and try and convince them to do their part. Let them know these numbers are no joke on the screen right now. Yeah, for the population, they're not that significant. But if you look at the graphs, they're growing, they're spiking. And the more people that get it, the faster it spreads, unless you stay home. If you're going grocery shopping, wash your hands. Be very weary of people who are coughing or sneezing near you. Wash your hands, hand sanitize, don't bring that stuff home. If you have older people in your family, keep social distance from them. Protect them as well. Anyways, this video wasn't meant to be like a negative video. I wanted to express a, a thought of mine. It's been really irritating me. And if I could get this message out or even help one person who disagreed with this, I'll be happy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Share this to other people to get this message out, I guess. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more content soon. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe and clean. Bye. Thank you.